A new survey shows many Australians are struggling with the legacy of growing up in orphanages, children's homes and foster care. Launched in Sydney today, the National Report details ongoing disadvantage for those who are institutionalised and calls for more extensive compensation. Deborah Rice reports. It's not often you'll see a federal minister with her top off, but from now on, Jenny Macklin and a group of other politicians will be greeting people at the new headquarters of CLAN. They're the patrons of the group, a network of survivors of orphanages, children's homes, foster care and other institutions. The photos are a poignant bipartisan tribute to hundreds of thousands of Australians who have no record of their childhood and no happy memories. It's taken nearly 84 years since I had a photo of my mother. What got me... I couldn't get a birth certificate till I was 79 year old. The organisation has just surveyed almost 600 of its members about the impact of state and church care. When you don't grow up with your family, you haven't got an anchor to your own self. On top of the trauma of physical, sexual and mental abuse, 14% received no education past primary school. A further 4% had no schooling at all. We didn't get any education and we used to have to sing to them off all day. I was used as a child labour all the time. Never received one cent. 40% went on to experience long-term unemployment as adults. We never had any help and we can't help our children because there's nothing there for them. Now many continue to struggle with mental illness, social exclusion and disadvantage. Despite apologies, Clan says some governments and churches are still to offer compensation. New South Wales and Victoria are the only government states that have failed to live up to what is their moral and ethical uh, responsibility. Apart from that, these Australians want greater awareness of their experiences to prevent them being repeated. Deborah Rice, ABC News, Sydney.